Hello everybody, I'm the Awesome Jimbo. welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. And so, in the last episode, we rescued Diddy Kong and we came into this mine. There's really no story, so I don't understand why I'm trying to tell you any of this crap. All that. So, catch up. We got some gold bananas, that's all I have to say. Literally nothing whatsoever. Also, can I say, I love that guy's death animation. That's really all I have to say about it. It's just, mwah, it's beautiful. I'm sorry about the... Audio quality of that. Ow. Yeah, I forgot. Those can hurt you. Listen. The balloon. Pop the balloon. It's like that. Ed Whoa. Ow. It's like that one episode of Ed, Ed, and Eddie where they're trying to pop that balloon. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you don't watch Ed, Ed and Eddie, then I, then I feel sorry for you because you didn't have a childhood like I did, is what somebody would say as they grew up with Ed, Ed and Eddie. But of course, I did, so it does qualify a little bit. If you don't like Ed, Ed, and Eddie, I don't care, honestly. I mean, you have your preferences, I suppose. Anyways, gotta say, how you guys doing? And all that. I mean, of course, this is the same recording session as the last two episodes, but... Alright, collect 50 on this pleasant scenic ride. <laughs> like, I know, I've pretty much played this game before. The, whoa! The, hey, hey, hey! You go ahead and... Smacking at every every single monkey riding on a minecart like that all the time. I gotta say, the visual quality of this has definitely held up. And whoa, ow! It's very very awkward for me to hear the sound effects because I'm trying to talk over my. Is that uh, ow, you douchebag! Okay. Okay, back up, back up slowly. Um. Alright, in the last episode I was talking about Donkey Kong games, I ended up stopping on Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Which was a very fun game. There's also Donkey Konga and Donkey Konga 2, which I haven't played, honestly, because I don't have the Congo, the bongos. But, I, I don't know. Those games never really interested me. They're like rhythm games, aren't they? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's, that's what they are, aren't they? But I, I could be wrong because again, I've never played these games with the blah 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 blah. blah. Ah, uh, uh, okay, there we go. We got all the coins. Hey, what's up? All right. In, court, in case you guys want to know some more Dunk Kong facts, there's also Barrel Blast, which I heard was actually pretty lame. Which I which I heard was it's like the worst Donkey Kong game ever made. I'm like, well, they made a bad Donkey Kong game. I'm not gonna hit that switch. I'm, Wise, wise enough to wise enough to not fall for your tricks. 73 coins. How about that? That was perfect timing because that wasn't the. Yeah, you don't have to patronize me, bird. It's like awesomeness. Sound like Black Star. If any of you get that reference. You got a reference, okay? I'm just really happy for you all of a sudden, for no reason. It, just because you got a reference. Okay. I don't know, there's also the... Jungle Climber game. DK King of Swing and Jungle Climber. I don't... haven't played those games, honestly. Are those any good? Should I play them? Like, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Should I play DK King of Swing and Jungle Climber? If so, which one would you recommend more? Banana Battle! Okay, whoa. Oh, okay, so now I'm trying to think where else I need to go with Diddy Kong. There's, oh yeah, there's like the banana up the top of the hill. I also want to collect all the red bananas, because I can get all the col- I know I said I wouldn't get all the colored bananas. I want to get as many as I can. I can get all of them lickety-split in this level. The Sorry, uh... After the second and third level, that's... After the second or third level, that's kind of where... I'll just collect enough bananas to get the... Mm, to get the banana medals, okay? Mm, oh, yeah. So, here's one. And I just now remember where the last banana was supposed to be. The banana pad. All right. I pressed up, I didn't say that just yet. And luckily for me, since I don't, I'm not going to look as much like an idiot... <laughs> what the heck, he was, just, he was just 
flying, flying off all of a sudden. That just went crazy. Slow that down for a minute so you guys can go ahead and uh, register what was happening just there. Anyways, this game, really good. That's all I gotta say. Anyways, back to other Donkey Kong games. I've also played Donkey Kong Country Returns. First Donkey Kong game I've played since uh, that one game. Which was, uh, what was it? Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Which I didn't play upon initial release, admittedly. Uh, and it's alright. It's... If I didn't think so lowly of Donkey Kong Country 3, if I didn't think Donkey Kong Country 3 was amazing, then this would this game, Donkey Kong Country Returns, would be my least favorite game in the series. Also, bear with me for a second. I don't know where the last. But you know what? Screw them. Screw all the color bananas. I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight to the boss. I'm like, you guys are probably gonna yell at me for not collecting all of them. Now that, look at these colored question marks that I'm not going to be able to do go through. Okay, so, go over this way. There's also Tropical Freeze, which is, in my opinion, my personal favorite game in the series. Uh, no, what I meant. Either second or third favorite Donkey Kong game. Either that or Donkey Kong Country 2 would be my second favorite. I don't know, I can't really decide that, honestly. Yes, but there's just one problem. I want to reach the key, but I've eaten far too much. I don't. Rafins. Wait, what's his name? Like those must be the most bored gatekeepers in in video game history. Also, if you go down here, you go ahead and show them how many bananas you've given them. In this level, at least, which feels extremely weird, but of course I got 100 bananas. Go ahead and have them all. Now then, just look at how big that hippo gets super fast. Dang, that was one heck of a stop. I bet not even Wario, Wario Land Shake it could match that. Should I also do a Let's Play that game? See, there's some sound delay problems. I played this game so much when I was younger, so of course I'm going to notice that. And I also notice that since this is on the Wii U... This is on the Wii U, there's a lot less lag. The, whoa! What the heck is this thing all about? The, whoa! Hey, what's up, Armadillo, bro? Whoa! If I can say, this is actually a pretty decent first boss fight, if I must say so myself. It's not... I've faced better first bosses. And in case you want to know... What's his name? Alright, well, why don't you just chill out there for a second? There's, and it also goes a lot faster. No! Oh! You want to know his name? His name is Army Dillo. Army Dillo. I'm not making that up. I swear... That is his actual name. And all that. Alright. I've certainly faced way better first bosses. Like, the first boss of Bayonetta 2 is probably the one of the first, best first bosses I've ever faced. I mean, Josh Scorcher did it like a uh, top 10 first bosses. I don't remember what number one was. I completely forgot. And if, also, if you count Daiku Orochi revived from Wonderful 101 as a first boss, which I sort of do, because the rest of the quote unquote boss fights were mini bosses. Ow. Is that, oh, well, okay then. Why don't you just go ahead and show off your sass? You know, don't worry about the shockwaves. I tend to avoid them sometimes. God dang, I'm noticing a lot of differences in... Oh, what the heck was that? Go ahead. 
freeze frame that. What the heck was that? It just appeared out of nowhere for a second. Yeah, the frame rate's higher, but it's also changed a lot of things. Like, how they changed a lot of stuff in uh, the Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5 HD remixes on the PS3. Apparently, there was a lot of differences to the physics. Like that. It's kind of like that. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Leave the level. I don't want to save because if this file ends up getting, this video ends up getting corrupted, I'm gonna find myself extremely frustrated. Okay, so if you guys remember, mm, excuse me, I'm really barfy right now. Mm, sorry, I had to eat before this. It's awesome, you Jimbo 19. Let's play, because I have to eat every time just to gross you guys out. That's not my intention, by the way. It's just. It gives me the energy. Gives me the energy to go through. Higher frame rate. All right, goodness gravy, calm your ass down. On second thought, you should have more of a fit so that this makes way more sense. Well then, you. I hope, hope you really enjoy that. And tropical freeze. If I hit back to Tropical Freeze, if I can say there's anything I don't like about that game, it's that it's a lot shorter than Donkey Kong Country Returns. Oh yeah, I never really explained my thoughts on Donkey Kong Country Returns. I don't know. There's, there's a, I don't know. It just doesn't have the same charm as the older Donkey Kong Country games. It's a lot longer, which I personally think is a good thing, which is my main point of aggravation with. Which is my main point of complaints with, uh... Well then. Which is my personal complaint with Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is that compared to its predecessor, it had six worlds. And Donkey Kong Country Returns had eight. I mean, of course, the... Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2, those games had... And 3, I think which had, like, a grand total of about six worlds, I believe, but I don't know. It just feels like a bit of a disappointment. Uh, it's like, I, I don't know. I can't really make my make up my mind about that. And as for... Never really noticed those before. As for these, we can activate them now, but what's the point? So we're just going to go ahead and leave. Yeah. Get on out of here. Like he's, He says the exact same thing all over again. Get out of this dump. Alright, so... Screw it all, y'all. Let's go on ahead. <laughs> yeah, see, look at the top. His name is Armadillo. Why do you have mu their mug shots on your on the wall on the wall? That's just really, that's not right. All right, so now here we go on to Angry Aztec. It's like this game isn't missing a beat. It's and just so you know, the next level is water level. I'm just kidding. Okay, well that's sort of a true. That's sort of true, but that's also sort of a lie. Yeah, 360 no scope. Like that. What's up with that? Like that. Oh, we can't go collect that just yet. So we're gonna. I just figured I'd open the door up right now. That's probably gonna end up screwing me over. Over here. Oh, hey, it's local friend Gobi from Banjo Kazooie. And I'm noticing he's moving his head a lot faster. Like that. It's the higher frame rate. I am aware of this. It, it's very strange. Hello, Bill. Ugh. It's like Tatas should not be that big. Should not be allowed on a, on a monkey. Well, I was just gonna say that it only belongs to anime girls. I'm gonna stop talking right now. Take it easy. Like. 
Man, they're not even trying to be subtle with this character. <laughs> the... Come on, guys. Did you... <laughs> I hope you... Great Kurt Cope, I really hope that's all you did. Extra melon for free. <laughs> this is what I've devolved to playing a Rare Rare game that had sexual innuendos in it before Conker's Bad Fur Day was a thing. The, the, no! No, I don't want to listen to your dialogue anymore. It's, make, it's making me and my audience cringe. It's making me cringe because I'm the one who has to sit here and play it and making my audience cringe because you know why. Because I'm stating the obvious and it's like, dude, just let the kids figure it out for themselves. Ow. <laughs> well, on the plus side, he, at least we get some more life. Like, melon meter. Low melon meter equals bad. All that. Okay. Gotta go over here. Dang it. So, wait, I think I have to release him with Diddy Kong, don't I? I'm pretty sure... Yes, I do. Okay. And yes, you can let go of the vines right right off the bat. Hang on, you, you gonna criticize me or something? Stop messing up about all this sand is beginning to itch here. Well, fine then, screw you. I might as well just leave it there so it can continue to itch in places that should not be mentioned. Okay, so go over here and... Get Diddy Kong, I did not mean to turn around topsy turvy that way. Also, mentioning, I mentioned Banjo because we all went. The first game was good. No! If you want my honest opinion on Banjo Kazooie, the original is really. Ugh. No, that's not my thought on Banjo Kazooie. This thought of a dialogue. My thoughts on the original Banjo Kazooie. It's good, but the only reason I prefer this, I would probably prefer Banjo Kazooie if I had a nostalgic attachment. But I have more of a nostalgic attachment to this game, so it's a little hard for me to digest when I have more fond memories of this game. And of course, I've never played. I have never played Banjo Kazooie as a kid. I've watched my brother play it once or twice when I was a kid, but that's pretty much the only exposure to Banjo Kazooie I've ever had. As for Banjo Tooie, never played Banjo Tooie when I was a kid. I played it like the year after beating the first game. I stopped playing it because really dumb reasons, admittedly, because collecting all the jiggies, I 100%ed. I collected all the jiggies in the original Banjo Kazooie. Now I wanted to collect all the jiggies in the second game because that's kind of the person I am with these kinds of games. Dang it! Hit it. There we go. And there's also Casplat up there, which we need to kill, but you can't get him yet just yet. So we're gonna do that. No, don't you worry. Because, like I said, collecting everything except for the colored bananas. Collect the all enough golden bananas to. Colored bananas to get the the golden banana medal. Okay. Then we gotta go in here real quick before we move on to the next area. We're like, hello, Tiny Kong. I'm afraid they got me too. Yeah, we can go ahead and talk telepathically because can't. Also, weird frames. Where's his goddamn feet? Look at look at that. There's where oh there they are. His feet just disappeared. But it's like his feet are nowhere to be seen. <laughs> they just flat out disappear. All right, they look fine here. And okay, so if you look there, they were perfectly. They were. It was just fine. Okay, so they're there. Where's the feet? There's no feet. His feet are... That is... Those are... Those feet are straight up gone. Also, look at this mess. Goodness gravy, look at this messed up stuff. Might as well be playing... Playing a horror ROM hack of this game, you know? And... My thoughts exactly. That's exactly what I think of this. Because, because this game... We're not even at the scariest level in the game, and this is already making me want to stop playing right now. Now, we're going to keep going, at least for a little longer, because 
As you guys know, from my personal Let's Play expertise... Uh, I can only play at least an hour and a half, dang it, of this before before I get sick of it. Anyways, you know what? I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna be up on that, on the other side of that, of that monkey tongue. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.